there's going to be a passport control from <laughs> Albania to Montenegro. And now we're on the queue. I just crossed the border from Albania to Montenegro and yun, um, So right now, here is our view of Montenegro. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Montenegro. going to explore the city of Kotor in Montenegro and this is very new for us because this is our first time to uh, visit the Balkans. Unfortunately, there's very little time that we have uh, to explore the city but we're going to do that uh, today, right now, here in the Old Town and we're going to uh, give you guys a tour. So, tara, let's do that right now and explore the city of Kotor in Montenegro. Here is breathtaking, super ganda. It's nothing that we've ever visited before. It's just so sad that we can only stay, that we're only going to stay here for a day. Tapos we're going to leave by tomorrow. The fact that we are not going to have the chance to go um, and visit the other places, medyo nakakalungkot. But anyway, um, we are just going to try and maximize our time here. Tapos uh, let you guys see uh, what let you guys see what are the places that you can also visit if you have this is the map of Kotor tapos we are planning to go up into this um, into the church of Our Lady of Remedy and hopefully to the other places as well um, pero it's going to take us uh, 25 minutes to go up here it costs 8 euros and then here it's about one hour we're just hoping that we'll be able to make it on time pero we'll see that's going to be our destination over there and right up there visited here in Europe. I head now to the church where we're supposed to go up. But we're still trying to figure out how to go there because um, these streets are quite narrow and it's quite confusing at times. The problem is we also don't have any Wi-Fi connection so um, it's going to be a bit of a struggle. But back to old school where we have to navigate by our instinct and by the help of the map. Kaya, ayun, try natin if we can survive uh, the uh, navigation system here. So we finally found the entrance um, heading to the Kotor Fortress and it's about 25 minutes to go up there on the first base. Pero tingnan natin. Let's see if we'll be able to go up in the highest peak which is about one hour um, from here. Thank you. You too. The view here is so beautiful. It's so 
breathtaking and we're also running out of breath but it's still still worth it the eight euros entrance is whoa it's too high but it's okay very nice Pakita ko sa inyo yung view. Guys, this is not an easy task to do to climb up. Medyo nakakapagod talaga yung paracyat, but it's all worth it. Sobrang so relaxing at the same time because of the view. But yeah, so far a few more steps and then we're there. Okay, so we finally made it. We're finally here in Church of Our Lady of Health. Um, yeah, the view is so much better than we were expecting. It's quite tiring, but it's all worth it. There's no words to express or describe uh, the, the view that you're going to see here once you climb up in this um, area. Um, although I don't think that we'll be able to climb any further because the sun is about to set anytime soon. But nevertheless, we were able to see how beautiful Cotor Montenegro is and hope that you'll be able to also explore the city because this is one of those cities here in Europe that are uh, left unexplored and is a tourist destination that each and every uh, traveler should visit and see. So we decided to go down now. Um, cannot go any further. It's not always that we get to see this kind of places and it's not every time that uh, we go to um, countries like this which has um, be beautiful landscape but anyway enough of that we're going to concentrate now how to uh, go down <laughs> these stairs without tripping ourselves but anyway see you guys downstairs <laughs> We're now um, on our bus heading back to Tirana and that concludes our one day trip here in Cotor Montenegro. That has been a very interesting and amazing experience. However, the only downside that I could uh, think of right now is it's really a touristic place and it's very expensive. Um, the food um, as well as the places that uh, you're going to visit, let's say the tourist attractions are quite on the pricey side. There's always going to be a terminal fee uh, that you're going to pay in the bus terminal um, as well as the luggage. Um, so even though you have already paid your ticket, they're still going to charge you additional fees for that. So it's quite annoying and that's the same sentiments that the other passengers are complaining about the uh, additional fees consider visiting here it's really an amazing place to visit i'm going to wrap this up and it's going to be it for me for today um, i'll be seeing you back in tirana um, yeah so if you enjoy watching this video just forget to like share and subscribe anyway um if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe follow me on my instagram account and it's going to be it for me for today see you in my next video travel and adventure